Here we are. This is Boca, this is La Boca. This is a neighborhood where immigrants get off the boat. They come here to start a new life, a new beginning. In fact, in 1905, five Italian immigrants founded the club. And uh, to understand the club, to understand the Boca, you have to understand the people. You have to understand the neighborhood. Because when Boca plays, all the neighborhood is playing with them. So emotionally connected. So the neighborhood and the players, they're the team, they're intertwined. Yeah. This is a monument of Tevez painting made of football balls, soccer balls. The people here are very accurate. Ariel is taking me deeper into the barrio. And that's when it hit me. Just how important the Boca Juniors are to these people. The Boca Juniors are the lifeblood of the neighborhood. This storekeeper is a fan. He works in a store called Fanaticos, a store devoted to the Boca Juniors. Ask him, um, how, does, how does being a fan of Boca Juniors compare to, say, the, uh, the birth of his first child? He doesn't feel love for anybody for no one, only for Boca. He, he, he can compare with the, the birth of a son because it's only Boca. How is this possible? How could someone be so devoted to a sport, to watching a sport? Ariel explained, it isn't just a devotion to a sport, it's your badge. It identifies you as somebody and the people here hold on to it passionately. You know, this is passion. All this you is see it right here. is passion. All this wind is passion. I got tears in my eyes. Yeah, it's passion. And it's passion it's, for Boca. It's, it's, it's or a, the shout, sand. a shout of, of all the supporters. Do you know what worries me most, Ariel? I'm looking at these kids who are probably about five years old, and every one of them could kick my ass. Yeah. Every one of them yeah. is better than I could ever yeah, hope can, to be. I can show you. But this could be the next Maradona right here. Yeah. Yeah. Maradona, Davis. Right here. Yeah. Look at the faces. Huh. They have something in the faces that, that transmit you uh, the passion and, and the, they are every time playing football. Non-stop. Non-stop. Um, how do you say in Spanish, I'm in over my head? Aguante. 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 That's what you need. Yeah. Courage, strength, aguante. Bigger balls, yeah. I need bigger balls. I don't know how your balls are, but I think you need a I could describe ones. them to you now, because <laughs> they're not that big. And this is the team, the Boca Juniors. It's a practice day, and even that has fans, with signs and chants. These guys are serious. Soccer, for many of them, was their way out of poverty. They fought hard to get here. A few of them grew up playing soccer barefoot on the dirt patches that pass for soccer fields in the barrio. And here I am, the North American tourist, just dropping by to survey the game they feel so passionate about. I'm in my sneakers and street clothes. Do I deserve to take this kick? Fans would kill to be where I am now and I have only scratched the surface of their soccer passion. I want to feel more. I want to know Argentina before I take this kick. I'll be back. I'm in the city of Rosario, a city with a population of three million, about a three hour drive from Buenos Aires. It is also home of the Rosario Central, the home field team to the visiting Boca Juniors for the season opener. Now, I've watched almost every sport at their most important games. I've been at the World Series, the Stanley Cup, sat amongst the fans at the Super Bowl. But there's something different here. The people do not feel a separation. They're not fans watching the players. Everyone here is in the game mentally. They're pumped, barely contained, ready for war. Oh, jeez, I better find my seat. 
At one end of the field are Rosario's Bada Bravas. It means the tough wing, and they are the die hard fans. They're the heart of the team, beating drums, singing songs, and if need be, they will be the first line to attack their opposing numbers on the Boca side. And when I say attack, I mean really, attack. They're all prepared to lay their lives down for this soccer match. And even though the Boca numbers are smaller, they are just as determined. They call their Bada Bravas La Dose, the 12, as in 11 men on the soccer pitch, and they form the 12th man. We were supposed to have an interview with the head of the 12, but the police preemptively arrested him yesterday, just in case. And the bus that the 12 came in on was fired upon by Rosario fans, like, as in, bullets. And the players? They walk onto the field protected by a tube to avoid being showered with rocks, glass, cups of urine. And this is just a regulation match. God protect us if one of these teams beats the other. Me, I'm hoping for a tie. The game is coming to a close, and the score is still 0-0. But neither side is showing any sign of letting up. They're frothing for a win. Channel this, Andrew. Feel this passion. Oh, be this determined. The game ended in a tie. Thank God. And now, it's my turn to take the field. I've gone back with the Boca Juniors to their practice stadium to see if I can turn everything I learned into one glorious penalty scoring moment. There's no game on the line, but still, I feel the pressure. I am ready. The passion that Argentina feels for the sport of soccer is coursing through my veins. I have the courage of an entire nation. I have, as Ariel put it, aguante. I have big balls. Cacho is even here to give it some authenticity. As I stepped onto the field, I came to a realization. This isn't about me and the keeper. This isn't even about the penalty kick. It's about being part of something bigger. This is about loving the game at its most pure. It is about a shared passion. And it is great. A feeling of belonging, even if the goalkeeper threw it a little bit. Hey, after all, we're all in this together, right? Go. Fellas, right?